At LAX, the Vegas passengers have been delayed by bad weather and mechanical problems, and the temperature is beginning to rise. This whole group of people was on the 135 flight. Um, we came here with a group of people that were also on the 3 o'clock flight. We all got delayed due to weather, which is fine, and then the 3 o'clock flight left before us. All these people right here are completely irate and disgusted with Southwest Airlines. We called the supervisor over here, and she proceeded to sit here and yell at me in my face, and all these people are witnesses. We were then sent to another gate where we waited for our plane to be fixed, and they told us they couldn't fix our plane, so they were going to wait for a part. And we waited for a part for hours, and then they finally said, oh, we don't have the right part, or the part doesn't fit. So they sent us back down here, where we're now waiting again. We just don't have aircraft sitting around. That Who, do I talk to? Who do I talk to at corporate that has the power to make these decisions? And they were mean to the elderly. All I know is I've been to six different gates, from gate one to gate 13, Gate 10. Gate 10. To gate 3. three back, back to 13. Back, back to 10. <laughs> now to here. So I'm still, I don't know for sure. All the customers are upset, understandably so, but we just don't have aircraft that we can just swap out on a moment's notice. And on top of that, they got an aircraft form, but now they had to go over to a different gate, so they're not very happy about it. We want an explanation. And yeah. we want it now. We want an now, explanation. We're not going to wait anymore. Okay, I can only listen to one person at a time. I'll be happy to listen to everybody's concern. You guys don't anybody, anytime. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the delays and the inconvenience. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine to screw you guys over. They said a smooth talk. Okay. to all the people I'm not a smooth talker. If y'all want to catch the flight, go to 3A. Well, I guess we have to, since all everybody yelling, just walked all out the on yelling us. And screaming since is not everyone change walked out on us and was dealing with us for four hours, you guys it's you obvious that Southwest is full of it. You know what? I'd like your name and your badge number. We and can't you move too. I don't care. He doesn't have to take this kind. He doesn't have to take this kind of an attitude. Well, she shouldn't. We'll just find out who shouts. Apologize. All the screaming and yelling is not going to change the fact. Right back down there. They don't want to give any information out. Try, try and out talk me, pal. Try and out. Yeah, you. You and your one ear. It's always the same. It's, oh, we're going to make it out in 30 minutes. So we're going to have a little more information in 30 minutes. Instead of saying, it's this way, we don't know from there. You got 125, 130 people that are obviously intelligent, not very happy and we have people lying to us and then coming off with an attitude for us. A lot of unhappy people. The Vegas-bound passengers are finally on board. But now Steve arrives with a new and potentially explosive problem. Okay, there's going to be a massive Please, for those of you that are going to Las Vegas, first of all, we would like to thank you for your patience. I know that some of you have been here for a long time. Unfortunately, with this flight, we are in a weight restriction, so we have to pull four people off for this flight. I did clear some standbys uh, at the last minute, but as courtesy for your inconvenience as well, we're gonna offer $75. The most profitable airline in the world. 75 bucks, you guys should be embarrassed. Remarkably, some volunteers appear. If you wanna do it, go ahead and come up to the front. Goodbye. Goodbye. $75. And at last, the flight to Vegas gets underway. 